Ten games unbeaten for United. Eight clean sheets. Seven wins. We've beaten City in three out of our last four games. We've beaten Chelsea in this run of games. It's run of undefeated performances. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer deserves respect. Today, we beat City. We came out with a game plan in that first 45 minutes and we executed it to perfection. City came on to us for the first 20, 25 minutes but had no real chances. And then we had the moment of quality with Bruno Fernandes. His free kick, what a free kick it was. So intelligent and then a great finish from Anthony Martial. 1-0. The first goal in this game was so important because had City have got it, we would have had to change our shape completely. But they didn't. We got it. Guardiola couldn't respond. United came out in that second half. I'll be honest, that was an absolutely horrendous second half to watch. United sat on the back foot. But Solskjaer put belief in a defence which has kept, what, seven or eight clean sheets in our last ten games. In that double substitution he made 13 minutes from time, he brought on McTominay. He brought, I can't remember who else he brought on, sorry. But he, he, he made defensive substitutions at a time when he could have made more aggressive substitutions. And a lot of fans would have been angry at that. But United held on. And not only did we hold on, what a wonderful goal that was from McTominay. Edison with two mistakes. Goalkeepers at the moment are having a bad time. Edison making another mistake. His clearance goes straight to McTominay and he made no mistake with the open net. Old Trafford absolutely bouncing. And United right now are bouncing. We are one of the most informed teams in the Premier League. And at this point, it's not just a one-off in a certain game. We're seeing continuous improvements across the team. Defensively, very good today. I was very happy to see Aguero go off, if I'll be honest. But regardless of that, United, very good. I think if you're looking at the weakness that we had in our defence, it was probably at the left wing back. Not sure about Williams as a left wing back. Absolutely certain about him as a left back. But United, going into that last 25 minutes, you know, Mahrez came on, made a difference, but Solskjaer made the switches that brought it back towards United. Happy fucking days. What a result that is for United. What a result that is for Solskjaer. And 10 games unbeaten. I can't get my head around that, given where we were a couple of months ago. Losing games... Everybody seemingly losing faith in Solskjaer, but Bruno Fernandes has come into this team in January and he's transformed it. It's infectious. The, the, just everything positive that he is bringing to the club is infecting all the players around him in the right way. And that moment of quality there with that free kick over the top and Martial with a great finish, Edison probably could have saved it. But those moments of quality, we haven't really had much this season, we've always been reliant on Paul Popper being informed for those, for those moments to come. But Popper hasn't been there. United are 10 games unbeaten without Popper. The quality is there throughout this team now. I think Fred, Matic, every man to a T today deserves credit. I think wan Saka has come on so far as, a, as an attacking fullback option this season. It was considered a weakness of his game, but it's getting better and better and better. Odi and Igalo coming on for the last few minutes there. He made a great difference in holding the ball up. Igalo, man, he, he does his job and he does it properly. But you, I, I felt that City were going to score. I think we all felt that City were going to score. They were, the pressure was mounting and what we've seen from United, it tells us that we're probably going to concede, but not in this run of games that we've got right now. Solskjaer's got massive faith in that back five of Shaw, of Maguire, of Lindelof, Bailly when he comes in, wan Saka, Williams when he's playing, whether it's three at the back or five. In that first half, it was more 3-4-3. Three, three. And in the first half, though, that absolutely ridiculous VAR decision, Fred being given a yellow card instead of a penalty, unbelievable. And then I thought Aguero had scored when it looked like he kind of was onside, but his shoulder was offside. VAR needs binning. I think we can all agree on that now. It's just, it's not fit for purpose. But I'm so delighted Absolutely fucking buzzing, in fact, that United there have gone and gone against City. And before the game, I said it on Twitter, and you know, sometimes it backfires in your face, but I felt going into this game that United could actually go and play City and play well against City and not just hope that for a miracle goal that, out of nowhere to win the game. 
That's not what happened today. United went with a game plan. We sat deep and in our shape. Hit on the counter-attack. Dan James in the split strikers, I think he deserves credit. As I said, every single player in that team deserves credit today. Anthony Martial, absolutely man of the match for making the moment's difference. That moment of quality, but you could give it to Bruno if you fancy it as well. United 2, City 0. 10 games unbeaten. We've, we've beaten Guardiola City three times out of the last four games we've played against them. Solskjaer, you know, is a, is a man who lots considered or still consider to be tactically inept as a coach. But today, he went with an exact game plan and the players executed it perfectly. He can coach. He might be learning on the job, but what we're seeing is he's learning. Will he be manager at United next season? Who gives a fuck about that at the moment? Let's just celebrate the fact that we've just beaten City 2-0. We didn't pump them. Largely that second half, it was tense, nerve jangling. But United came out on top, the defence held solid and that's what Solskjaer's belief was in. And that's why he made those defensive substitutions and it paid off. All the decisions that Solskjaer made as a manager paid off today. United 2, City nil. Who is your man of the match? How are you feeling about that game? Happy days. Bring on the next one. Who is next? Who cares?